for a closer look at this, let's bring in Raymond Powell, project lead at the Gordian Knott Center at Stanford University. He's also a former colonel at the U.S. Air Force. Uh, Mr. Powell, the guidelines point to modernizing the Philippines' defense capabilities with interoperability with the U.S. in mind. It's something that China would obviously want to avoid, but it's not altogether unexpected either. Is there anything in particular in the document that stands out to you? Well, I think certainly the, uh, the going toward information sharing or intelligence sharing is a huge step forward. It's very high bar that the U.S. sets for sharing intelligence uh, because of our concerns about security. And certainly we would want to bring the Philippines much, much closer to where uh, we can really share with them a lot of our more advanced capabilities, especially from space, from a lot of our uh, intelligence surveil surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft and and other platforms that we have. So I think that would, you know, that's probably the thing that stands out the most. And um, a bit further on real-time information sharing, it sounds simple enough on paper, but could you tell us what the challenges are involved and will it really make a difference in making both countries more nimble? Well, the, so the biggest challenge is coming up with uh, information systems that are shareable from, you know, across national lines, right? So we have... Over years and years and years, we developed uh, information platforms uh, that could share classified information across the central command area of, uh, of responsibility because we were there so long. So we learned how to share with uh, our, our allies and our partners in the, in the central command area. But we don't have quite those systems in place in the Indo-Pacific, so we're going to have to build them. And the Philippines has been quite firm in saying that its territories will not be used as a staging point for any military action. But given that they plan to work a lot more closely together, it seems like quite a delicate balance. Do you think this will be a complication for either side or not at all? No, I don't think so at all. I, I really don't think that uh, the United States is contemplating any uh, unilateral or, or uh, uh, offensive military action that wouldn't be brought on by a much larger situation that would cause everybody to rethink everything. So if there were uh, war across the Ta Taiwan Straits, that would draw in so many other countries right off the bat that it would really, you know, force a fundamental rethink of everything. So, you know, short of that, I don't I don't see any um, any issues with uh, with President Marcos' statements were seen very reasonable. Uh, picking up on what you said, why do you think it will draw in so many countries? Well, so in order for a, a cross-strait invasion to be successful, uh, China would have to uh, probably level, uh, lay out a blockade of, of, of other countries. It might be tempted to uh, preemptive, preemptively strike other countries. Japan, of course, is, is extremely close and is a U.S. ally. Um, the, the Philippines would have, uh, you know, tens of thousands of refugees potentially coming across the, uh, the, the strait in northern Luzon. There are so many things that would happen in, a, in association with the Taiwan conflict. It's really unpredictable, but it would certainly be much larger than simply a bilateral uh, conflict between uh, China and Taiwan. Uh, Mr. Paul, uh, rhetoric aside, do you anticipate some form of retaliation from Beijing and possible deterioration of China-Philippine ties after this document was released? Well, China often looks for sort of unconventional ways to, sh to show its displeasure. We all remember the, the famous uh, banana embargo after the Scarborough Shoal incident back in 2012. Um, so, and it has done the same thing with other countries, uh, most notably Australia. Um, but that hasn't seemed to do it much good, frankly. Uh, the, the countries that, is, that have suffered uh, those kinds of, of, of retaliatory actions oftentimes end up even, you know, drawing even, an even harder line. I would say the most important thing that happens uh, for the Philippines with relation to, to China is this increases the Philippines' leverage. Um, the Philippines now has more cards to play when it deals with China. And China it's not in China's national interest to be fighting with everybody all the time, everywhere, over everything. It's, it's going to need to be able to stabilize its, its, its relationships, and the Philippines now has more leverage in those discussions.
So, and on that point of leverage, a lot of countries will be watching this very closely. So uh, what is the possibility that this development could prompt other countries with competing claims in the SES to look to bolster their security cooperation with Washington? Well, obviously, the Philippines is a special case when it comes to Southeast Asia uh, being a very, very close uh, security partner and treaty ally with the United States. So every country is going to approach it differently. But I think it is important for those countries to see uh, just how much it it helps the Philippines in its in its bilateral relationship with China over the longer term. I think in the short term, it'll probably be pretty bumpy. But over the longer term, I think that, you know, it, when you're a small country and you're dealing with a big country it and the 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 relationship has these fundamental rub points, in, in particular, the West Philippine Sea, uh, it's, it's very, very helpful to have uh, leverage on your side. And the Philippines is going to be able to draw on a lot more strength uh, and not just with the United States, but with other uh, regional powers like Australia, like Japan, with which it is also looking into deepening its security ties. Uh, Mr. Powell, thank you very much for your insights. That was Raymond Powell, project lead at the Gordian Knot Center at Stanford University.